specifically said on, on, on the denial that this household had already been assisted. So, even if she was assisted, first of all, that was her. Plus, we didn't qualify. They screwed up. That was their fault, not ours. They even told me on the phone because I asked them about it. And they were like, well, somebody must not have caught that. Like, well, I don't know how you could hold that against me. Because that, that's not even fair at all. Every program... That has been given in this state since the beginning of COVID. I have not been approved for anything. I mean, literally nothing. And I, it, obviously, you got to have 12 kids, be a druggie. It makes no sense to me. I have tried to contact the governor. I've had to talk. To, I've talked to Jason Williams at the governor's office. He's actually tried to help me as most he could. You know, I could call him and he would send papers over to the housing fund the same day. Not like they would rush anything. They never cared, but. I've sent stuff to Shelly Capito, that Congress lady, or Senator, uh, David McKinley. I have four pages worth of people that I've sent this information to to try to get someone to speed this up and help me, and, and nobody cares. Now they've let it get to this point where I, I'm going to lose my house. 
And it's, it's not right. It's absolutely not right. Because it's not going to end with me just losing my house. It's not. I'm not going back to my parents' house, and I can tell you that right now. I don't care what they say. I, I don't care. At, at this point, I, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I don't care if they send cops to my house to try to lock me up, do whatever. It's not going to get to that. This is ridiculous. It should have never got to this point. And it's not going to go down like this. This is this is stupid. West Virginia alone wasted $82 million worth of unemployment claims that were fraudulent and then denied mine, which was 100% legit. And then denying me of this because of something that wasn't even my fault. You know, it kind of seems to me they're pushing me in this route for a reason, and it, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't bother anybody. I stay home with my dog. Who I'm also going to lose in this support deal. Anyway. I've called every single day since November 27th. Every day. That's, I'm not even joking. Every single day I've called. And anybody that has actually been a part of this program knows when you call. It's the same response every time. It's still processing. You are in a, an appeal list or whatever. It goes by each person that's applied or appealed. Uh, that seems to be an awful lot of appeals then. That's over 60 days. And I just got off the phone again just a minute ago. She can't tell me nothing. I told her, I was like, you know, I don't have any more time. You know, they're going to foreclose my house and I'm going to lose my house because of this nonsense. And this is this is stupid. It's like eight thousand dollars or so now that they they which would have never got to this point because I had a zero balance if I should have just said hell with it and never even agreed to it. But I mean, you can't fault me for that because I I lost twenty five thousand dollars straight up. I, I don't even know how. I, I don't. I can't even sit here and say I honestly know how because everything that they did was illegal. I never got to step foot in a courtroom even one time. They made sure that they used COVID to their advantage to make sure that I never stepped foot in that courtroom. That's all it would have taken. One courtroom appearance with me, I had all the evidence in front of my face. You know, I had to get it all myself because nobody would help me and they didn't seem to care about it. But they just kept denying me and denying me and denying me until they just closed the case. And then I just lost everything. You wouldn't believe what I went through during all that. Which I have a whole YouTube series on it because I made sure that I wanted to expose everything. I said every single name allowed every person that was involved in that. But this this is too much. This this is one person can only take too much, and this is going to end bad for me. Now I'm going to attempt for no reason, which I know, like everything else, it's all pointless to post a YouTube or a hell I can't even talk now. I'm freaking mad. I go find me. Try to save my house. It'll save more than just my house, but it's, it's not going to happen anyway, so I, it doesn't matter. You know, I've already got my mind in that in that state that it's pretty much it. Which I'm okay with now, I guess. It's, I don't I don't want to go this, that route, but you know. They're not going to do this to me and just simply get away with it. They're, they're not. This is ridiculous. This is beyond anything I've ever seen one person have to go through constantly. You know, do I need to freaking shoot up heroin and lay around with every woman in the state to get someone to pay attention to me? They're the only ones that seem to get assistance in this state. It's absolutely crazy. I, I just don't understand. So, and, I, and, I, and I've done more than any person could possibly even imagine to try to change all this, and it, it just does me no good. And yes, I've been working. It's just, there was, you can't get caught up when you're that far behind when they allow it to get to that point. It is, you just can't, so. I don't know. I don't know why we have to go through this route. All they have to do is pay it, and that'd be done. Or... The bank could have stuck it to the end of my line, do whatever. As long as I could get it straightened up, 
back to zero, I, you know, I'm fine. But they, they just let it get to this point where I, I can't do anything. You know, I bought this house after divorcing my wife. After all that nonsense and her cheating and all that. Not just cheating, it was it was way more than cheating. Cheating, changing her name so she could cheat. She put me in Columbus with a brain tumor. Insane. It, it was insane. And this was my way this was my gift to myself. And I've worked all these years for what? For them to just take it from me because they, they want to play games with me. They're going to be taking more than my house. I really don't want to go that route. I don't want to lose my dog. But whatever. So I'm going to attempt to go find me. It's a, it'll be a failure, just like everything else. I know that, but I got, I'm going to try. Whatever. Yeah, I know I won't even get any of it, but... And it, it, it wouldn't matter anyway. If I didn't get the amount that I needed, then I'm just going to send it all back. So, it ain't going to matter. I mean, it's just not. It, the thing of that is, I shouldn't have to do that. This state acts like it's on welfare, that it can't even afford to pay one person for a program that they actually qualify for. While they're bailing everybody else out that hasn't worked for 20 years of their freaking life. I, this is crazy stuff. This really is. I've seen a whole different side of, of, of everything around me during all this. You know, I applied for unemployment. With no write-ups in my file at all. None. And they managed to put gross misconduct on no write-ups. And then through the unemployment office that Board of Review and the Circuit Court, all three places upheld the gross misconduct with no paperwork, none. And that's not even a joke, none. They had nothing. They had a termination letter, and that is all. And every single time I tried to get a hearing, to defend myself, COVID was their, was their basically their holding one there. They just used it to their advantage over and over and over and over and over again. And it was successful. I had another, the girl that was living here, I had a friend staying over here at the same time with her half the time, who has been in rehab five times, five times not working. She has been in rehab. She applied and got the PUA assistance that I also tried to apply for and was denied because they tied it to the same reason as to why I was denied the unemployment. She simply said, this is all that was done, she simply said she was taking care of somebody with COVID and they approved her. $18,000 worth of fraudulent money went right there that I even reported. Hell, they didn't care about that. And she was living in my house. So they denied me. She wasn't really living here, but she was basically living here with that other girl just to buy drugs. That's all she was doing, buying heroin and something else, which is why she eventually had to get out the door. And see, that, that seems to be what, what they like in this state. They, they will pay you if you're a druggie. They will pay you if you've never worked. If you have 10 kids by 10 different men. If you're of the, the cult group that you know that I can't stand. It, uh, why they want me to go this route, I don't know. It's taken me about five times to make this video because I started bawling at the end of every one of them. I'm trying to not do that now. I don't like people making me like that. And I'm usually not like that. I don't even get it emotional about anything, except my dog. But I'll try this. I just, it's pointless, but... It's 
So just remember, if you've watched this video in the future, and this just so happens to go the way that I know that it's going to go, I hope people get held accountable for it. I really do. Because this is being done purposely, and I don't care what anyone says, it is. They're doing it on purpose. They want to keep pushing me off until the program goes away and the funds are gone. I, I, I can't even wait that long. And once this foreclosure stuff kicks in, it's going to be impossible for me to get out of. Right. I'll try. I'm not expecting anything because I already know how this is going to go, but which I've pretty much already prepared myself. I've already had several documents done. My house is pretty much ready to be. I don't have much left in it now anyway just to pack up. They forced me to sell everything I freaking own, so it's not like it's going to hurt that route. This, this state's a joke. Everyone in this state, it, they make me sick. It, Governor Jim Justice is the biggest joke I've ever seen in my life, and I cannot stand that man. I reached out to him, even trying to get help from him specifically because I was feeling suicidal back in the day because of all this, and he didn't even respond to me. Just totally, blatantly ignored me. Luckily at the time, I called that hotline number because I was trying to get my mind straight. Which was pointless because, I mean, I guess she might have helped a little bit, but I don't know what this conversation is really do because it didn't really change my state of mind. I didn't want to do it to begin with, but that conversation didn't help. But I guess if, I'm not trying to say don't call that number if you think it, if you feel that way, but I thought it was pointless. But I also think people that go to drug rehab is pointless. And that was proven by this girl five times in a row. She'd been to, drug, to rehab, and there she was going heroin again. So clearly, that doesn't work. But they apparently would rather take my life than pay this house. That is a, is a simple solution for them, literally. Yeah, how much money they were given for COVID, and it is, I don't know. If you'll remember back whenever the unemployment, right, when the unemployment was getting all that extra money and then he cut it off. Notice how all of a sudden he had that dog thing for his dog giving all that money away for free. That really pissed me off actually. Because that's ridiculous. All that extra money and then he, he wouldn't even pay attention to me then. And here we are again. Clearly they have the funds. When they say that they're going to move the program up two months, you only have to be behind two months. They're not going to do it. And you can't get lawyer representation in West Virginia, so don't even try it. If you know any any lawyers in West Virginia, go to Ohio or somewhere else and try it elsewhere, because they, they don't care about anything around here. Especially Kirk Oval and Walt Oval, two of the laughable jokes, things that people have ever met in my life. I'm rambling now because I'm irritated, but I'll post this just to see, and I, I, whatever, I know where it's going to go, so that's, that's be it. I'll cut it off now before I get in that state. If I don't raise the money, I will send everything back to, to the one, maybe two people that donate. Because if I don't get the full thing, it doesn't matter, so it's going to be the same outcome. And there's no point for me keeping anyone's money that is not going to help. So, I mean, I appreciate it, but I, I'm not, I don't know, that's theft in my opinion, and I'm not keeping the money if I don't make the money that I need, so I'm not like most people, I think that's horrible to do to people, and I'm not going to do it. It is, it's even more irritating, just for a side thing again, that I have to do this. It's not 
hurting them at all. They, this is just being done now, out of spite, and I know it is. And they've let it get to this point to where it's, it's going to go bad. Hey, I, I just don't understand. Good God, you've taken everything else from me. You have to have my house and my life as well. It's just insane. But if that's the route that it has to go, then I can't say I didn't try. I tried harder than anybody you can possibly imagine. So, we'll see where it goes. Alright, well, sorry it was so long. Thanks. <laughs>